All right, so you've got a network attached storage, a NAS from like Synology, and you're looking for a 10 GBE um, adapter. I have the OWC 10 GBE here, and I've had it for a little over two years now. Um, I'm gonna show you what this thing looks like. There's two versions of it, and I just gotta tell you, um, let's talk about how much speed increase you're gonna see. So this is the OWC Thunderbolt 3 10 GBE. Again, this sucker is meant to um, plug in it has the ETH or the Thunderbolt 3, so you can get this connected with super high transfer speeds um, on a MacBook Pro. So if you're looking for an Ethernet adapter for like a MacBook Pro and you have Thunderbolt 3, I'm telling you this OWC adapter, you can buy this using my Amazon affiliate link, which would give me a little spiff, which would be kind of nice. But let me just tell you my review of this thing. Um, I, I'll tell you what. There's some things that I've learned about this, um, and, and I'll just give you the, the lowdown. So first of all, it doesn't get very hot. It runs off of the normal power. Now, I have a giant 16-inch um, MacBook Pro, and I also have an M1 new MacBook Pro, the 8-gigabyte version, and I also have an old Intel. Um, this is my wife's laptop. So I've used this on a number of different MacBook Pros. Uh, different Thunderbolt versions and everything. And it has worked every single time. And I just did a speed test. I transferred 46 gigabyte file with a whole bunch of two gigabyte video files in there, um, a bin full of proxies and everything. I think there's 300, um, 300 different files in there. And I, I transferred it one with this Thunderbolt 3 adapter. And then I also did just a normal one GBE uh, setup. Now I have the, uh, the, the Synology uh, 16, 18 plus, I think is what it is. And I just love this thing. I have the, the, uh, in fact, I'll even show you in this article. I've got an article on brave carrot photography here. I use the Seagate 10 12, or 12 terabyte, 10,000 RP or 7,200 RPM hard drives. I just did a test 46 gig or 45.7 gigabytes. And long story short, it took 10 minutes and 38 seconds on the normal one GB. And then on the 10 GBE, it only took two minutes. So I think I went from um, 70 megabytes per second to 375 megabytes per second. Um, let me talk about what I've noticed about this thing. Um, I've had a little bit of screwing around, like installing the drivers is kind of goofy. You have to go find, um, the actual drivers for it, which is kind of goofy. And it's been kind of weird. In fact, when you get this thing installed, you have to go this Akitio, A-K-I-T-I-O, to get the drivers, the drivers are just kind of odd. It's not under OWC. It's this Akitio OWC, uh, which took takes a little bit of messing around. You know, I've put this on three or four different things. I have seen on the M1, for some reason, when I first had my M1, um, it wasn't supplying power all the time. So like half the time it would work, half the time it wouldn't work. Um, a couple other little things that I've noticed is that uh, generally speaking, it will keep the NAS attached. Every once in a while, it will like the the... Synology system won't connect to it and you have to reconnect it. But long story short, I've had this thing over a year. I've used it just about every day. I beat the tar out of it. If there was a way to beat the tar out of it, it's been pretty darn stable. Um, I think at 250 or some odd dollars, it's a pretty good value. So if you're looking for a Thunderbolt 3 adapter to do um, 10 GBE, you have a MacBook Pro and you're trying to hook it up to maybe a QNAP or a Synology 10 GBE system, then I highly recommend it. I would totally buy it with the link in my description. Anyways, good luck. God bless guys. And I hope this helps you with your video editing.